हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू यूनिट यूनिट नंबर फाइव रिगार्डिंग द पी ई एम सब्जेक्ट द लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर सेशन यू लर्न अबाउट द पुवर्टी देन आफ्टर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन्फ्लेशन राइट दिस ऑल आर टॉपिक्स आर कंसिडर फ्रॉम द यूनिट नंबर फोर एंड टूडे न्यू यूनिट वी हैव टू स्टार्ट दैट मनी एंड देर आर द फोर पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस यूनिट नंबर फाइव first one there are the money then after banking then fiscal policy and monetary policy so let's start first topic is the money so money we can say consider as the vitamin m okay there are the various types of vitamins are consider like vitamin a vitamin e vitamin b but vitamin m this little bit funny right but uh, this we should consider because without money any business can not run any company can not uh, doing any work any any operational work okay so money is very important factor for the all our business and all over the companies right so let's start how is money we can say calculated and what are the factors of money and how it's to be uh, uh, applicable in the economy okay so let's start first one what is the money money is any good that is widely used and accepted in the transaction is involving the transfer of goods and services from one person to another person so it's considered as the money money is one type of thing that you use for the transferring for the goods and services from one person to another person before we can say before the introduction of money um, some we can say there are the years ago uh, this where whenever people uh, they cannot introduce a money and they cannot aware about the concept of money at that time they have to be a, a doing a transaction with the exchange of goods and services there are considered as a barter system right i hope you know about it right so how its money is implicable in the economy so let's see so what are the evaluation of money how its money is to be a consider as the transaction or we can say as the medium of transaction so first one is a commodity money in the first uh, we can say there are the commodity money that's introduced in market there are the gold silver and the other precious metals and certain stones cigarettes are also considered as the we can say uh, we can um, whenever you should uh, we can say watch like um, movies and serials uh, regarding the old we can say scenario and at that time uh, there are all functions and all transactions are doing through the cash uh, we can say without cash okay so they have to be a transfer their money uh, we can say or value of the money through the Uh, they have to transfer the gold coin silver coins to each other and then after they have to purchase a necessary we can say goods and services right so first one there are the introduction of commodity money then after second one is a representative money so that's make a 100% precious metal so after the gold silver and other precious metal the second stage is considered as the precious metals like the we can say they have to be a considered like the uh, all over like Uh, tin then after the silver coins this all are considered in that then after fiat money fiat money means what the fiat money is a non consumption or the investment used there are the instinctively we can say useless pieces of paper so it's considered as a fiat money then after checks then after e money and the plastic money plastic money you can consider as your atm card your debit card your credit card visa cards are all considered as the plastic money and there are the checks are also considered as the transaction of the any commodity for the purchasing and selling of the any product and services then after what are the characteristics of money so there are the characteristics are considered regarding this money first one money is durable second one is a divisible third one transportability is higher fourth one is a non counterfeit ability then fifth one is a limited supply and the last one sixth one is the acceptability okay so let's see it one by one in detail first one is a durability means what 
item retain the same shape from the substance over the extent of period of time so money are the durable product whenever from the we can say there are in the traditional uh, business uh, they have to be a transfer the goods and services like if any persons ever require the rice and any second person have to require the wheats so they have to exchange a wheat and rice to each other right but nowadays uh, their products are not durable right because their product are perishable so after some time they we can say their value can none okay so there are consider money is considered as a durable because uh, after 10 years after 15 years whenever you use the money you you can get a some uh, amount of them right it does not easily uh, decompose or deteriorate degraded or otherwise is change form so durability is also extend beyond the physical realm so to include this social and institutional durability so it's a very durable product so you can easy uh, easily use this money from after 10 years after 15 years right then second one is a divisibility so means of money can be divided into the smaller increment and that can be used in the exchange of the goods and varying values right so you can easily divide your money like 5 rupees 10 rupees 10 20 uh, 2000 20000 right so, uh, and before uh, money when we can say that money concept is not available in the market at the time they cannot devise or uh, any products right so it's a money have the one quality that they can easily divide for an item to function as a medium of exchange which can be used for the purchase of a wide range of different goods with a wide range of different values and then it must be divisible so the smaller divisions are to be better for the purchasing and selling activity. Third one is the transportability means that the money can be easily moved from the one location to another location such movement is need to be a complex exchange to be a easily you can complete the exchange of the one person to another person if one person is we can say uh, live in the um, Gujarat and other person will live in the Maharashtra and if they have to doing the business activity then can we can easily transfer the money from one account to another account right so the money must be transportable and money that is not transportable is not tra uh, we can say not transported so it's not in the use so sometimes uh, some money cannot if you cannot transport it the money then it, it can be not in the use in the before traditions if the money cannot we can say introduce at that time this uh, very difficult situation is created before for the transportability then after fourth one is a non counter bit uh, counter ability so means of money can be easily duplicated so a given item cannot be a function at the medium of exchange if everyone is able to print up or make up a batch of the money is any time that is their want okay so uh, we can know that rbi okay rbi have to print this type of money uh, without the permission of the rbi any person we can say uh, in india can any person cannot print out this uh, money and sometimes we have also uh, we can say heard and listen that uh, some we can say in areas they have to find in the banking sector in the insurance sector they have to find the duplicate money right so it's uh, we can say there are the rbi is rule over in this sector but sometime uh, some issues are also created regarding the duplication of amount then after limited supply means that the restrictions of the amount of money in the circulation so the respective countries and government has to be a responsibility to control and maintain the adequate money supply to the market base they have to be a monetary policy you should learn this monetary policy in detail in the next video lecture sessions uh, if this monetary policy will be decided by rbi and according to the rbi's rules and norms they have to be a circulate and supply money in the market then after acceptability acceptability means that everyone must be able to use the money from the transaction so money is a usually accepted anywhere in the world as is the universal mean of transaction you can use the money for the anywhere right and you can uh, we can say whenever you have to go uh, for the business uh, out of the country okay at that time you can also transfer your money uh, from uh, rupees to yen then dollar you know so it's a very applicable uh, market and applicable medium of exchange for the all over world then what are the types of money commodity money fiat money and the bank money so first one is a commodity money 
Commodity money is a good uh, whose value is serve as the value of money. So gold coin are an example of commodity money. Commodity money has been replaceable with the fiat money. So second one is fiat money. So fiat money is a good and this value which will be a less than the value of represent as a money but currency we can say currency are an example of the fiat money because the value is to be a slip of the printed paper is a less than their value of as a money right you cannot uh, sell the paper and you cannot get the money uh, value of this money so also you know that this 1000 rupee note and 5000 rupees not uh, will be demonetized by the our PM, right? Uh, so these nodes are not valuable now. So I consider this uh, image for this uh, example so you can easily understand. If you have this 1000 rupees not now, then there is a not value of this 1000 rupees. So it's considered as a fiat money because it's printed on over the paper. If the paper can, if you sell this paper, you cannot get the money, right? Then after bank money. Bank money is consists of the uh, of the book credit that the banks extend to the depositor. So the transaction made is uses the check check drawn on the deposit held at the bank involves the use of the bank money. Like example, like DD means a demand draft, check, credit card, debit card are all are considered as the bank money. Okay, I hope you know about it. Right here is a one example given to you regarding the check. Okay. Then after plastic money, plastic money is a term that is used for the reference for the hard plastic cards we use the every day in the uh, in the place of the actual bank notes, right? So this different form of such as a cash cards, uh, credit card, debit cards, prepaid cash cards, and store cards are all are considered as the plastic money. Yeah, like your Visa card, your ATM card, your credit cards, right? Then what are the functions of money? This is a very important topic. First one is the characteristics of money and second one is the functions of money. So there are the mainly three functions of money, primary function, secondary function and the contingent function. Primary function are the medium of exchange. Second one is a measure for the value. Secondary function are the standard for the deferred payment, store value, transfer value. Then contingent functions are considered. There are the basic uh, of the credit, basis of credit, distri uh, distributions of the social income, general form of capital and the maximum benefit. So, so let's see it one by one. So functions of money, first one is the money as the unit of value, second one is the medium of exchange, third one standard for the deferred payment and the store value. So let's see. First one, money as the unit of value. So money is a measure the value of various goods and services which are to be produced in the economy. So you can consider as a money as the unit of value. You can easily uh, measure the services and product in the money monetary fund, right? You can easily uh, get the, we can say, get the identification of uh, any services in the monetary form. So money is a work as the unit of uh, value and the standard of value. So money works as the common measures for the value by the expressing this exchange of the value to the all goods and services in the monetary firm. So it's considered as the exchange of the market. Second one is the medium of exchange. You can uh, easily exchange the money and you can easily purchase and sell any product and services. So it's considered as a medium of exchange. Money facilities uh, facilitate to be a transaction of goods and services as the medium of ex, uh, exchange. One example is given to you that producer sells their goods to the wholesaler in the exchange of the money. So wholesaler sell the same goods to the consumer with the exchange of money. So its medium of exchange is a one function of the money. Third one is the standard of the deferred payment. Deferred payment means what? There are the outstanding payment which you cannot uh, pay in the recent, uh, in the present and you can pay the amount after the some time, after in the future. So there are considered as the deferred payment. It's a one type of credit transaction. If you have to purchase the sum of, uh, we can say machineries or any other items, goods and services on the basis of your credit. Okay, so it's considered as a deferred payment. You should pay the money after the sometimes, okay, in the future. 
so uh, modern uh, economic state up the based on the credit so the credit is paid in the form of money only so money is a beside being the basis of current transaction is also basis for deferred payment only a money is a such a such as a commodity in whose form account of the deferred payment can be maintained in a such a way so that both creditors and debtors do not stand a loss okay if uh, creditors and debtors there are the new word is considered here so creditor means what creditor a person uh, who have to be, we can say that who have to uh, purchase on the basis of credit uh, from your business so that's all our pers person are considered as a creditor for your business uh, and debtors means a person uh, who uh, whom you have to collect the money in the future right so is considered as a debtors so if uh, you cannot consider in the money amount so sometime uh, there are the low situation is um, will be created for the creditor and debtors because the amount is to be a we can say standard form and money is the standard form if they have to be a uh, doing the credit transaction and if they have to be a uh, doing the medium of exchange as a gold so you can know that nowadays there are the higher price of the gold so sometimes is created the loss situation for the second party okay so it's created not a loss situation for both of creditor and debtors fourth one there is store value uh, it was uh, virtually impossible to store a surplus value under the barter economy because uh, they have to be uh, doing the exchange of the commodities right and commodity products are not we can say Uh, very durable there are the perishable products and you cannot store it very long time so this discovery of money is has to be a remove this difficulty uh, with the help of this money people can store a surplus purchasing power and use it whenever they have to be a want so you they can easily store the money in their uh, banking account they can also store their money at their uh, we can say in, in their house so this all are considered as a storage value they have to be a found from the money with the help of money people can store a surplus amount and purchasing whenever they have to be a want then saving is in the money is a not only the secure but its possibility to be a being a destroy is very less so beside it can be used whenever they have to be a need so money has become a, the we can say only basis for the promoting the capital formation okay what is the meaning of capital formation so capital formation means what uh, if you have the saving amount and if you if you have to saving amount and then you uh, your savings you have to invest in the companies and any business then after you have to earn the profit right from the business and any companies and this uh, capital formation means what your saving is converted you have to invest your saving in any business sectors so is considered as a capital formation okay so if you have a saving then you can invest the money like uh, you have to invest in the mutual fund shares debentures of the company right then the uh, then the demand uh, for the money so the demand for the money is affected by the several factor first one there is a level of income interest rate inflation and the uncertain uh, uncertainty about the future and according to that you have to demand the money so the way in which these factors are affected the money demand is usually explained in the terms of the motivation for the three motives first one is a transaction then after precautionary and the speculative motives okay so first one there are the transaction motive transaction motive for the demanding money is arise from the fact that the most transaction involve the exchange of money because of it is necessary to have the money available for the transaction money will be demand okay then second one the total number of transaction made in the economy tends so to increase the over the time income rises like a hence to be and gdp is rise so this transaction is demand for the money also rise if you have the higher amount then you can uh, we can say demand for the higher money for the purchasing and selling activities then the precautionary motives precautionary motives means what people often demand the money as the precaution against the uncertain future because future cannot decided so sometime they have to be a consider money uh, for their their un, for the secure their uncertain future 
unexpected uh, we can say expenses and such as a medical or car repair bills often a require for the immediate payment then they have to be a need the money so money is available such as a situation is referred to as a precautionary motives demanded for the money okay sometimes uh, we can say uh, future can not decide if uh, any person have to be a uh, require the medical uh, expenses then is considered as a precautionary motive then last one is a speculative motive so money like the other sources of a value in assets so the demand for the asset is depend on the both is the rate of return and the opportunity cost so you should learn this cost in detail in the last video lecture sessions right so we can say typically that uh, money is a holding the providing a no rate or the return for the often depreciated in the value to the inflation so this opportunity cost of the hold a money in the interest rate and this can be earned by the lending or the investing of one's money is a holding so the speculative motive is demanding for the money rises in the situation speculation is a one type of you can say in the gujarati this the satta khori barabar che ke koi person che ene vadhare amount joiye che ena mate je investment kare which is one type of speculative mode is a gambling okay whenever holding is a money is to be a preserved for the less risky than the alternative line uh, lending for the money for the investing some other asset so they have to be a invest asset for the doing the gambling activities speculation activities then the supply of money the money supply of the country is consists the country's uh, currencies is a bank not and coins and the bank of money they have to be a balance to their checking account and saving account so this uh, account is to be a considered the bank money which to be a considered the record of the mostly computerized in the modern banking forms there are the large part of the money supplies developed to nation so supply of money is given by the rbi is a statutory body of the our nation so there are the m1 m2 and m3 there are the major for the money supplies is circulated is to be a year first one m1 is also called the narrow money is a normally include the coins notes and circulation and the other money equivalent to this easily available and convertible into cash m2 is a somewhat border measures and supply of the money which include the all m1 plus the saving your deposit your account uh, your deposits time deposits uh, your fixed deposits are considered as m2 scale M3 is a even the border measure for the money supply with the includes the M2 plus the large uh, denominations and the long term your uh, we can say deposits are considered as the M3 scale so m1 being a narrowest measure for the m3 is a broadest measure and the narrow money is refers to the money that are available immediately for the any transactions and the broad are considered there are not uh, we can say easily um, immediately are not available so you can uh, require uh, requirement of the apply for the certain conditions rules and conditions okay so thank you very much here our first part regarding the unit number 5 is money will be Uh, will complete okay so if you have any query then you can contact me okay here our unit number 5 first part money completed